Hello, I'd like to welcome you to Reformation Revival Now. My name is Kevin Jones, your Bible teacher, and we've been studying the laws of Genesis. And we also did a little teaching, which I call Parallels and Applications, which was just really to show that these laws were throughout the scriptures. But now we're going to get into the laws of the kingdom or the parables of Jesus. But before we do, we need to understand that certain disposition that is necessary if you're really going to benefit from these teachings today. Now let's go back to Genesis for just a second and take a look at what Eve said when she bore Cain. She said, I have gotten a man child from the Lord. That, that was the word she uttered after having Cain. So Eve understood that the ability to bear came from God. Today, we don't acknowledge God like that. We think it's all our deal. We think it's all of our work. We think it's uh, all of our own effort. We don't see it as the hand of God or the blessing of God. The other thing I want you to see is the, our Lord's attitude. You know, Jesus was the Son of God because he was the Word of God. Now, the Word of God comes out of the mouth. But the Bible says that Jesus was proceeded from the bosom of the Father. So that means that Jesus was inside of God and came out through the Word. Anything that's created by God's Word is Jesus. But that same Son of God became the Son of Man for the suffering of death. He came as the second Adam, the Son of Man. And as the Son of Man, he was under authority. So Jesus was a man that was under authority. And to show you that this is true, turn with me over to John's Gospel, chapter 5. And you'll see there where Jesus says this statement. The Son can do nothing of himself but what he sees the Father do. For whatever the Father does, the Son does likewise. And as the Father raises up the dead and quickens whom he wills, so he is also given the Son to give life. Now we see that Jesus doesn't do anything except is approved or led by his heavenly father. So Jesus didn't walk as a man in authority. Jesus walked as a man under authority. And for you to understand the laws of the kingdom, you have to understand how to operate in them. Jesus was under authority. And if you and I are going to walk with God and bring forth fruit, we must also walk under God's authority. This is a principle so that when you look at the teachings of Jesus and even the laws of Genesis that we just studied um, uh, several videos ago, you understand that you must submit to the laws of God. You must submit to the statutes of the Lord. You must submit to the teachings of Jesus. You must submit to Jesus himself. Because that's how the kingdom works. When Eve said that statement, she received it from the Lord. That's an attitude of submission. She recognized who calls her to bear. She gave credit to God giving her Cain, not to her having Cain. Well, I carried him for nine months. No, we don't see that. She has Cain and she makes a reference to God first and says, I have received a son, a child from God. This is so important. To understand Jesus and the laws of the kingdom, you must understand what it means. And I'll put I'll break it down into four sections. There must be permission, submission, commission, and obedience. There is nothing in the natural flow of the kingdom of God that's forceful. And the only time when you see that is when God is dealing with sin or the devil. Other than that, God flows in love. Everything is a yield. Everything is submission. Everything is obedience. And everything is permissive or within the law. Well, we're going to take a short break. And when we come back, we're going to get into some of the most basic fundamental parables of Jesus. Namely, the sower soweth the word. <laughs>
Let's go ahead and get into Mark chapter 4, the parable of the sower, starting with verse 3. Hearken, behold, there were not a sower to sow. And it came to pass, as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and the fowls of the air came and devoured it up. And some fell on stony ground, where it had not much earth, and immediately it sprang up, but because it had no depth of earth. But when the sun was up, it was scorched, and because it had no root, it withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and yielded no fruit. Other fell on good ground, and did yield fruit that sprang up, and increased, and brought forth some thirtyfold, some sixty, and some an hundred. And he said unto them, he that hath ears to hear, let him hear. Now, I want to lay some foundations here. When Jesus begins to break down this parable, we're going to see that the ground he's talking about is the hearts or are the hearts of men. And this is very important because Jesus is just speaking the parable straight right now to the general crowd. But he pulls his disciples aside and he says to them, I'm going to reveal this to you privately because it's given unto you because they made a commitment to follow him. And this is so important when you want to understand the teachings of Jesus. Without a commitment to the Lord Jesus Christ, he's not apt to reveal to you these secrets. These are for those who have made up their heart's mind that they're going to follow him. And as I just said, the heart is the ground by which the word is sown. And then we have different types of ground. Now in the next video, I'm going to get into these types of ground and what they represent. But for now, I want one thing to stick with you. If God is speaking to you right now, he's speaking to your heart. Now, we don't hear with our ears. We hear with our heart. And a lot of times with our mind but the the ears are the gate okay it's the tool that is used of your body but it is your heart that perceives it is your mind that reasons so you need to understand that Jesus says when you have ears to hear do you have a heart to hear so I want to lay that foundation before we get into the next video because you're going to need it and you're going to need it throughout the teachings of Jesus because you have to begin to hear in the spirit with your heart and that and and they have to get it over to the soul to the mind because rationale a lot of times will conflict with spiritual truths and when you have to choose between the two go with the word go with the spirit because God made everything now as you've probably noticed Jesus gives an expanded version of the law of Genesis because we're talking about fallen man now these are the things that challenge the Word of God to every human being on the planet when the word is given to them they're going to have one of these type of soils so let's keep this in mind as we get into the next video God bless you and I'll see you then bye bye